The fourth thing. The fourth thing is we will make letters and phone calls. Your attorney will make letters and phone calls. Your law firm will make letters and phone calls on your behalf. All right, what does that mean for you, letters and phone calls on your behalf? That means, it, in most cases, I would say a good 80% of the time that a letter or phone call can prevent situations from going to court. A letter and phone call can get somebody that's not paying attention to what you're wanting, needing, or having to do. They pay attention when all of a sudden they get something from an attorney, from your law firm. Uh, in Shimanoski and Mars Gardini, my law firm out of Illinois, they send out something and there's 22 lawyers down the side of it. Now when they send out the letter and they make the phone call, they're being dead serious on what they do. This is not just some trick. It's actually, look, if they're not, that's the next step is to send out a letter or phone call to try to resolve the matter before it has to be taken into court. How many times have you ever thought in the back of your head, if I send something to a, a buddy, a family member, a friend that's not paying attention, that they will, if they got a letter from my attorney, then all of a sudden you jump to the head of the pack, which means now they're looking at your stuff before everybody else's because you're being business. Um, my cell phone company at one time was charging me for the new phone I got, but they were charging me full price and they were not supposed to be. So each time I called in, they're like, okay, Mr. Jansen, we're gonna help you with this. What do you need, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you guys are charging me full price. Oh, we'll fix that, we'll fix that. And each time they did not fix it, and then, but they kept my phone on, but they weren't fixing it, but they were also charging me interest and penalties for the full price of the phone that I wasn't supposed to be charged with in the first place. So, what did that mean to me? That meant that they were not doing it, and whenever I tried to get the manager, they treated me like I was dumb. So I went all the way up to the management, nothing. Three months of this went by, getting charged interest and penalties for everything. And finally, by the time I was done, I had enough. I called up my law firm. My lawyer called me back same day from the law firm that I have. And we called my cell phone provider, my wireless provider. And the person treated the lawyer, like, and my lawyer flat out said, nope, I wanna speak with your manager right now. They tried to give them a hard time. Did not work. They finally got the manager. The manager then ended up getting their boss, another manager, a senior manager, whatever. Anyway, we were on the phone for about an hour and a half. And by the time that they were done, not only did they fix my situation, I got an apology letter. Plus they took off all the interest and penalties for something that wasn't supposed to be in there in the first place all because they ended up getting through to the legal department of my cell phone carrier and enough was enough because they were not listening to me and what my concerns were. But for some reason, they were willing to listen to my provided law firm and, you know, handle the situation from there. So to me, that was worth its weight in gold because I didn't have to do any more than call up my lawyer who called me back same day, who then got on the phone with my cell phone provider and took care of the situation. I have not had any problems since. Now a lot of people say, well I just changed cell phone carriers, great. They're gonna do the exact same thing to you. Every one of those cell phone carriers, they know they've got people calling them every day, getting on their plan, and it's called the circle because they'll go from one cell phone provider to the next, and then the next cell phone provider does not agree with what the one cell phone provider was doing. And so what they do is, so you go from say, Sprint, the Verizon, the AT&T, the T-Mobile, to US Cellular, to, there, there's so many of them out there, to like, I don't know, Comcast, Xfinity have them. But anyway, you do this big round robin and everybody treats you the exact same. Even though you're thinking that one company is better than the other, they're all doing the exact same thing to you. It's just a matter of who's providing the better service. I mean, so what this can do, what letters and phone calls can do is prevent, you know, situations from happening. How about, um, 
I know several people that had insurance claims. The lawyers sent out letters, and granted, they were, you know, in black and white. They were not happy with their insurance provider because of the clauses and because of the small print. They weren't able to get what they wanted, but with a letter from the attorneys, they were able to let their um, insurance companies who they've been with forever say, hey, look, I've been with you guys forever, but nobody's listening to me. All of a sudden, the insurance companies finally took notice of what was going on and uh, took care of the situation. So letters and phone calls. Now, how about this one? This is with my daughter. Not because I'm trying to do anything mean or evil or anything else, but according to the court, each summer when I get my daughter for my visitations and everything else, I'm required to send a uh, letter over to my daughter's mother a month prior to me getting my daughter for my, uh, for my full